Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward in this video by showing you how to make these super adorable little baby shower patterns. They're little baby bottles and it's super easy, it's super cute and I, I came across some baby shower items and uh, pictures and all that and I was like I bet you I can do that and I'm going to come up with some patterns and I'm going to I'm going to share it with my subscribers because you guys have been so loyal and so so patient and so nice. So yeah, this is what, this is the first video of uh, my baby shower series. I have probably a handful of patterns right now I'm going to do. So at the end of this video, I'll show you what the next video is going to be about and get people to maybe subscribe and, and to tune in. Um, so that we can crochet that pattern together as well. So let's get started. The materials needed are going to be some white yarn and some gold yarn, um, whatever color. This is all worsted weight yarn, so it's totally up to you. This baby bottle I'm going to do in yellow. So whatever color you're going to make the uh, the cap, not well, the... What do I want to call that? Maybe the the ridge to the bottle, not necessarily the cap. Um, anyway, and you're going to need a needle, which I have already threaded, just to keep the video very, very simple. Um, maybe a couple of stitch markers, some scissors, and I have two crochet hooks here. I have a... Um, of 5.0H and a 4.05 and then I always keep that little tiny one on standby to help with my ends so let's get started and I'll just put those up there yeah let me grab my pattern real quick my written pattern or shorthand pattern actually it's not shorthand it's speed writing that's what I took in a business class a long long time ago so let's get started first thing we're going to do is grab our white yarn and I will get these out the way with our let's see, five millimeter hook so grab your five one and you know what I suggest that you watch the whole video um, and maybe take some notes if you want to um, and then like maybe the second time around go ahead and do it because sometimes what happens is you know we're, we're crocheting along and then I know it's happened to me sometimes you know like uh, the video takes a turn or a twist or something forgets and you know is it's just you know better for you to just always watch the video first and take your own notes at least that's what I do so to begin we are going to chain seven, okay? And I'm going to try to really be in the center of the video because I know in some of my previous videos I have been so off. And I apologize to, for that. So we are going to uh, chain seven. One, in our white, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just going to single crochet back to our first chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I think that's what we're going to supposed to have, yep. So we're going to have a total of five or six rows. Um, depending on your yarn again I mean you can use scrap yarn for this um, just to test it out so we're going to chain one turn our work and then we're going to row two single crochet all the way across so each row will consist of six single crochets three four five I think I was crocheting tight, but make make sure you're going like them end ones can be tricky. But you gotta be sure you're grabbing both loops, otherwise you're gonna end up with big holes. Which I have a 
a little tip to show you at the end when we are doing our border. Okay, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're starting row three because we're not we're not counting the chain row with six double crochets across. Two, three, four, five. Six. with my squeaky yarn turn, chain one turn your work and now we're on row four six single crochets across one two three four five six chain one turn this is our fifth row one Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we're going to do six. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and this is our last and final row, row number six. Six single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, oh. like I said, be sure you're grabbing two loops so we don't end up with like unnecessary gaps. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. And what we're going to do is turn it sideways and then now we're going to do two single crochets in each corner and then try to evenly space out our single crochets across. Remembering that we're getting uh, two single crochets in each corner. So we had our corner two, three, four, five. I think we have like five on the sides that aren't that the stitches aren't like obvious like they are on the top and the bottom okay and then here we're at a corner so we are going to make two double crochets there i mean single crochets sorry about that and then one two three four Five. And I think on that fifth one, we're going to go ahead and put that, make it a corner. Because I didn't count the other one. So then, one, two, three, four. Well, I think we're at our. Uh, you can certainly work in your cor your tail if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And I think we're back at the beginning, so we are going to single crochet. We're going to slip stitch into that the top of that first single crochet. Cut our yarn. Okay. And right now I'm just like in the habit of just going ahead and getting our ends out the way. Because what we're going to do is, this pattern calls for you to, I hope if I have the, the hook facing the right way, right? Um, it's going to be in three pieces and then we're going to sew it together in your main color. And, um, which is the middle color, is going to be like the, the bottom of the bottle cap. The base, I guess, I don't know. It's been a long time since I had a baby, and these are like old school bottles because right now they're so modern with all the stuff that they have. So anyway, we have the milk portion done. So now we're going to go ahead and grab your yarn of whatever main color you want it to be. I have yellow. 
like a pastel yellow. So go ahead and grab that and now we're switching um, hooks. Now we're grabbing our F 4.0 hook and this pattern works up really fast. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to single crochet back for a total of three. And that is how many stitches we're going to have in this row across. We switch it up a little bit. So this is our first row because the chain row doesn't count. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and then we're going to go in the back loop. We're just going to single crochet in those three back loops across. So that's row two. Turn your work, back loop. This is three. Row three. Chain one, turn your work, and again, single crochet in those three back loops. Chain one, turn your work. Oh, what row is that? Four. One, two, three. Chain one, turn your work. This is five. One. chain one turn your work this is six back loops only three single crochets across and what this does is it forms like a little ridge on remember how those old school bottles were we just had those little ridges I think that is such a cute characteristic and what we're going for is we want it to be right across from one from one side to the other because we still have to do the border so that's going to make it come out a little bit so we're good right here on the six again you might find yourself doing seven you might find yourself doing eight depending on the yarn that you're going to use and also the worsted weight number so i know with this one it was a thinner yarn so i had to do a little bit more and then with these ones the pink and the blue were like the same brand but I like to also look at my piece right here and if I have three ridges on each side then I know I'm pretty much um, consistent with the other ones so from here we've already did that so we're gonna do another single crochet in that corner we're just turning our work and then here let me see I think it's five one two and then that middle ridge should get you at three on, on the long sides three you just want to space them out as even as possible and anybody you um seasoned crocheters already know it's it's still challenging like to on the sides to get those single single crochets even so now we're at a corner and we are going to make two single crochets and I know you're like oh my god that's a big old hole but I'm going to show you how to fix that so let's not worry about it these side, short sides are going to always have three now we're at another corner two single crochets there and then one two and then we know if we're in that middle ridge it's going to be even three, four. Like I said, you know, they can, there's just, you just have to like, the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's really hard to explain how to evenly crochet into what, whatever stitch on those sides, man, because you got those chain ones where you turn. So yeah. Okay. We're at another corner. So we are going to make, wait a minute. That's not my corner. There it is. Two single crochets in that corner. This is the short corner, so one single crochet in the middle. And of course, that brings us 
Remember, you're grabbing two loops to catch myself sometimes. And then now we're back at the beginning where we do another single crochet, slip stitch to that first um, single crochet. Put our yarn. Again, we are going to hurry up and just get these, like, okay, remember I told you, like, that big hole right there that we created? Like, if you turn your work and you go underneath and, like, right, go, take your hook and pull it up where the hole is at and then pull your yarn through that, you've just covered up that hole. It's a pretty cool trick that I've been using. Anytime I have, like, gaps and stuff. Because it seems like it does not matter when you're working those corners and those sides that don't really have stitches. Like you're gonna end up with a with a big gap. Like it's it's inevitable. It's just gonna happen. So you just have to learn how to maneuver your yarn, get them over with. Um, not get them over with, but um, get the yarns over there and see. There we go. Now we have our cap. So now we're going to still keep our 4.0 um, F hook and grab our goal to make this nipple. Okay? And this is super easy too. So we're going to go ahead get our slip knot. We are also going to chain four. But we want to do this a little loosely because, well, depending on your yarn too, one, two, three, four. I have all different brands. I have Karen, I have Red Heart, and I'm pretty sure I have uh, some other brand, maybe main, Mainstays or something. And then we're going to just single crochet back three single crochets. Okay, so this is row one. We don't count the, uh, we're not counting the, the chain row chain one turn your work and this is our last row this works up super quick so we're going to go ahead and do our single crochets across three of them okay and then when you get in this corner we're going to put Two single crochets you kind of twist in your work now and we're going like upside down and in that first row you're gonna put two single crochets so you have two single crochets in each corner of your single crochet rows okay and that's it that's how we end up with the little um the little bigger top to the nipple now I know you're looking like what in the heck this does not look like a nipple Please do not panic. Trust me. Remember that trick I told you about that big hole? So we're just going to get our, yarn, our hook and grab the yarn and pull it through that hole. What that does is it, it kind of fills it in. And then on this one, I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay? So you know on the baby bottles where the top of it flares, up, flares out a little more. Yeah, that's the look we're going for. And when you do tie this in the back or however you're going to do your ends, this is how I do my ends on one-sided projects. Um, be sure not to tie that knife, the knot too tight because um, we don't want it to bunch up. That would not be cute. We don't have to worry because remember I said that we were um, going to uh, use our three pieces. We were going to sew all these together, but we're all sewing them to this main piece. So this is going to be the yarn in your needle. So if you want to pause the video and get that, you can. And I'll meet you back. All right, I have mine already. So let's go ahead and do the bottle part, the milk bottle part of the bottle. Now, this is just a tip. I like to use these two fingers. Your index finger and your middle finger to hold that top part and then your thumb and your ring finger to hold this part just till I get that first stitch in okay and you can pin this too I didn't um I don't even know where my pins are at so I was just 
trying to figure out but those are tips in case you don't have pins handy like me and we're just going to go in and out of that bottom stitch of the uh, base of the milk cap okay we're just going to go in and out all the way across now see where I'm at in the back I'm, I'm doing that top row of the white and again just in and out your basic sewing not nothing too extravagant or fancy fancy that's my dog's name she just looked over here too like huh what are you talking about <laughs> okay so when you get to the end you just want to do this you want to put maybe a couple two, at least two stitches there so it's not flopping over and then what I like to do is just turn it around now I'm just going back across so we're doing like two rows of sewing these two pieces together okay I'm just going to move that tail out the way because we still have to get this corner secured. I need at least two stitches in there for me to feel comfortable. And then just make sure that you're getting both colors. And then from here, I'll just tie a knot and get that done. Okay, so now we have those two pieces together. We still have some yarn, and I'm sorry, um, you probably want about 12 or 14 inches um, to be safe for the sewing. And then now we're just gonna, um, we have, we should have two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. So the two middle stitches is where you want to attach that part this part of your nipple to the two middle because you're only going to be working with these two stitches up here and we're just going to do the exact same thing we did with the other piece we're just going to come in from the back and just sew right across but then we're going to come back here and we really want to make sure that we secure those ends those sides so they don't look all undone and unfinished yeah that would not be cute this is, this is so cute and you can make these in any kind of color I mean I think they would be cute as a garland I think they would be cute and I've, all I've done right now is just turned it around and did the exact same thing just trying to make sure that it's secure a garland even gift tags like get yourself a baby shower gift and then throw these on there that would be so cute and then just make sure that it's secure on those ends so it looks very neat and finished um, also um, we have this baby shower game where you can't say the word baby like everybody starts out with like five safety pins and um, if you catch somebody saying the word baby or maybe the mother to be's name then you get you they have to check in the person that said it has to check in their safety pins and their safety pin every time they say it and whoever has the most safety pins which would be really cute like to have around here like the safety pins um, and wins a gift wins a uh, baby shower gift so that's just a little pointer. Anyway, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a little baby bottle. And like I said, this is so cute, so easy. You can use scrap scrap yarn, um, whatever you want. Um, but I do want to show you what's going to be in my next video because this is my baby shower series. And I have um, created this pattern with these little overalls. Aren't those adorable? And then also this little baby dress with a little ruffle at the bottom. Oops, I have it backwards. Hello, Susan. Okay, there. Isn't that cute?
So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Um, you can tag somebody in the video if you want, but that's what's coming up in my next video, which I'm aiming to do tomorrow, but you know life happens. Sometimes things don't things don't always come out that way. But thanks for watching, and um, I appreciate everybody's patience, and I'm still working on my seven to eight piece uh, bathroom set, so I appreciate everybody's patience, and again, uh, together, let's continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.